the day. It was warm. That's the scrimmage. It was good. Got, uh, got some good working. Got a lot of situations, special teams, two-minute things, end of the game things. Uh, a lot of scenarios today. I uh, got that in. Scrimmage went, well, I thought, very competitive last night. Uh, much more physical than we were in the spring uh, as a group overall. Uh, you know, you're still always looking to be as physical as you possibly can be. But uh, I thought we did some good things there. Uh, thought both sides had their moments. You know, got competitive. One side would get for a while, and the other side would come back, battle back. Some guys made made good plays both ways. And uh, you know, young, some of our young, I see some of our young freshmen very happy. I know you're gonna say which ones, but <laughs> none of them disappointed. The young backs ran well. Second, Leon, a couple of guys in the secondary did a real nice job, made some plays up front. Uh, some of those rush guys, some of those guys up there did a nice job. Uh, I think uh, young quarterback, a little bit he got and how he did. I thought he handled the situation well. Um, and a couple of young wideouts made some plays. I mean, so just going out there and being able to function, get a signal, get a play in the stadium, your first scrimmage, Division One. I, I was very happy with the competitiveness of the young guys in that scrimmage. And the old guys, I mean, came and it was pretty good. I mean, it was. It's not, you know, first scrimmage, usually there's some ups and downs and get those jitters out of going out and actually scrimmaging and tackling. And that was what was surprising. For the most part, tackling was pretty good. Uh, and but some of our backs did break some tackles in a good way, and it wasn't, you know, just good hard runs. So I was happy to see on both sides. So you know, we got a lot of work to do in between now. Questions? Does Travion remind you of all of Dalvin or any of the guys you had at FSU? No, I mean he's a, he's a very good player. I mean, all of them have different traits and different things. And you'll you'll never see me compare guys. Yeah. I really don't because it's hard. Everybody has their own uniqueness. But he's extremely productive and and extremely seems to be very driven and has great leadership right now. He's in a very good place in my opinion. The scrimmage, how much do you as a staff learn from that particular situation? Oh, you learn everything. You, you, like I say, the fast fire is out of your mouth. I mean, you got to go out and take signals, make calls, communicate good, bad, and different, overcome, you know, if something's good happening, bad happening. I mean, you know, it, it's a lot because, and they learn from it a lot. I mean, it's not the end all day, they, they learn from it, but you find out a lot where a guy's status is and where he's thinking. Have y'all gotten a better idea where you want to use Eric yet? Eric McCoy? Yeah, he's playing center right now. All the no, I mean, he'll move it. Yeah, there'll be times. But guys, linemen are always going to be interchangeable. There's never going to be a, a spot because injuries up front dictate so many things, and we'll play different combinations of things. Based on what happened in Maryland, would you mind addressing kind of the safeguards you all have in place here? And We have a lot of things. I mean, we have our GPS system. We have those trainers and things and everything we do, which can measure heart rate. And those monitors are on constantly 24 hours a day. They can measure heat. And, you know, we, we had a heat stroke last year. I mean, we had a guy with one. And uh, we monitored, got very quick. They got addressed and, you know, very thank God that, you know, he was able to, to do things. And, and a very mild drill that wasn't over exuberant, but things can happen. So you always got to be prepared for the unexpected. But our rate monitors and everybody being in place to be able to handle those scenarios went very, very well. And, uh, you know, pray to God that always happens. But you do that, you always have people, you get, and you can measure heat. You got water at everything you ever do. And doctors are right there on call as quick as we can get them. So, you know, we, we acted very quickly and thank God that things went well. Do you put more stock? Jimbo into a scrimmage versus they five days of work out here. Like if a player has a bad scrimmage well, versus five good days of practice, how do you judge that? Yeah, I mean, you both. I mean, yeah. some guys you have a bad day, or you got to learn to compete. You got to learn to get out there. There's, but there's, there's definitely a measurement to it. But it's like your whole class. Do you make an A because of one test, or you make an A because of the whole thing. And sometimes, the t but it depends if you see the reoccurrence of the same thing. That's why you have two or three scrimmages in those scenarios. Seemed like it had a slow start on special teams. We were out there today. Today, today. we did very. The guys. Uh, Assignments, uh, paying attention to what was going on. Very disappointing in the beginning. We picked it up and finished up very well in special teams, and that that will never happen again. I promise you. Did they pick that up just for the rest of the practice? Mm -hmm. Better practice. Yeah. Practice is not bad at all. We got a lot of things working. Sometimes you come out as soon as you put shorts on. You don't think, like well, no, it doesn't mean you practice exactly the same. What do you attribute that to? Just having. Uh... The, the scrimmage. Why you attribute? Here, I was saying. I always tell to parents, why you attribute your kid not listening to you? You know what I'm saying? Because he just sometimes he just thinks he doesn't have to listen, and it's not bad. You, just, you set a tone, and that's where I think you got to understand maturity and how to practice and what you do. No matter what you're in, you're going to practice like a champion. It's not that they don't want to. They just, sometimes you just you mentally have a lapse, and you can't do that. And we as coaches have to make sure that doesn't happen and be organized, structured, and be on top of it. And make